If she had only been ugly, we would still be hey. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, hmm. Dom Herrero live from Laugh Factory. From the Laugh Factory. We don't have to say there. We could say from Laugh Factory. How long have you been in this country? Let me explain it to you. Welcome, by the way. You don't have to have a, a proposition. A proposition. <laughs> preposition, proposition. An article. For proposition. A learning. Of, did you ever think of taking a course in English, perhaps? I, I took some uh, classes in English, buddy. Well, well, who? Do, let me get that guy because he stole from you. What do you he, mean? I, 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 I actually took a bunch of classes, mm -hmm. and I took uh, some speech classes. Speech? Yes. Incredible. And I was very good at it. Excuse, excuse me. The guy, he said, I'm so good at it, I should be graduating before everybody else. He wanted else. you out of that class. That's what it was. No, 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 no. He, he, he loved what I did. He, he enjoyed what I did. I'm telling you, Jamie, my friend Russell would never let me down. Uh, he let I you know th this for sure. He's dying. I know when you say one o'clock, it's a hard one o'clock for Russell <laughs> Peters. <laughs> Will oh, you please no. get down here? Oh no. You Oh no. Where is his mic? Where is his you, mic? You know You're actually sitting on his mic. Good. You know, Russell, first of all And I'm really sorry about my tardiness. Hello. Hi buddy. How are you, buddy? Hello, my little friend. Hello, my friend of a thousand smirks. <laughs> You got the boys. Hey, what you got? Your backup singers? Hey, you. Hi, guys. Just call me David Ruffin. <laughs> okay, David Ruffin. I I, I gotta tell you, okay. Dom. I he, tell one thirty-two. Oh, I gotta tell you. One thirty-two. <laughs> well, it was supposed to be three, right? You know. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, don't give me that. Shit. <laughs> I'm so much better later in the day. You know day. what? It's shorter time. It's quality time. <laughs> That's right. We talked about you. I want to know why Jamie's wearing a winter jacket <laughs> in ninety-five he's degrees to look, outside. <laughs> he's trying to look nice. Excuse me. Look at you. It's you radio. Come in, <laughs> you come in here. You come in in the t-shirt, not suit, not tie. Yeah. You gotta have respect for a legend like Dom. Uh, uh, yes. You see. You see? Dom put on his best. <laughs> Jeans for me. I mean, I, Russell, I feel bad now. Now, Russell Peters is not your real name, right? It's uh, Peter J. Rosselli. The, we don't like to talk about that. Like to, Russell, um, this is hard-hitting journalism. What happened to you? <laughs> why, we, why you're am first. I late? Why are you late? Oh, I'm late. You, you hurt a lot of people. I, I had to fucking talk to Jamie for a half an hour. I apologize for you that. You put me through hell. Hey, you remember those guys, right, Jamie, from Chicago? Yes, of course. Hey, man. Of course. Of course. Yeah, he he have his posse So you don't get the tougher bodyguards during the day, huh? Yeah. With them at night. They're high, both of them, actually. But they high? High no, on life? They ate brownies yesterday. Did they really? They're still feeling it today. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> no, and you, you have your, uh, your, uh, your hat on is shadowing your eyes. Put it a little bit higher. Is there a camera on us? Yes, camera yeah. is on it, too. Wait, I told yes. you there was a camera. I told you to wear a suit. Oh. Like this. Here. Yeah, here. okay. All right. You want to see your hey. handsome face. Yeah, Look, there we go. <clears throat> so uh, again, you put it the same way. Put it. I, I, I don't want to look like a retard on camera. You are. Excuse me. Not you are retard, but you. <laughs> Is this really on? Is this thing on, Russell? <laughs> How do you come up with your comedy? <laughs> well, you always funny. Do you write your own stuff? Any of these answers? Who are your please? influences? <laughs> Who's your favorite? What makes you laugh? What make more important? What makes you come? <laughs> What makes you shoot the biggest farthest load? <laughs> what makes you flood a chick with your man sauce? <laughs> oh, right. The answer, nice feet. Nice feet. He likes feet. Women's feet. You do. You All right. Whoa, get whoa. Women's feet. Oh, I didn't yeah. accuse you of liking the G.I. Joe's you just said toes. I like feet. That's very vague. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. I didn't cast spurs, but I'm telling you right now, you jump back a little quickly. There I might lived. be something there. Wait a minute. But as soon as he said yes, your legs went up a little bit. You start showing your feet to him. Really? Did you notice? Yeah, no, I didn't your, notice. Your but you legs. notice everything. You're more of an observational comic than a, <laughs> than a character. Or he's, a, he's more of a comedic observer. <laughs> yes. Do you know some of his material and why he's not a comedian? <laughs> well, I've heard some of the freestyles. Did you hear his German his, uh, German Shepherd joke? No, what is it? Ch Jamie? <laughs> Tell me the German Shepherd this joke, This Jamie. is actually part of his act. Um, I, um, shall I say it? You should probably do it into the mic, though. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, How long have you been working in comedy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> the joke was, I, I came to this country, I was very innocent. Pick up the pace. And um, I was d- uh, walking down Beverly Hills, and he says, animal psychiatrist. And I said to myself, I would never, ever go sit down and tell my problem to a German shepherd. Huh? So that's, that's not bad. Oh, come on. It's terrible. <laughs> I expected that was, way worse that from was him. his closing <laughs> bid. Oh, shall I tell him another one? Yeah. Oh, one yeah, more. you're on a roll. Okay. Another one. Okay. <laughs> the another one. one. The, the other one, I uh, actually was a good one, is uh, um, uh, I told a lot of my friends, I said, I want to go out to a club or discotheque, pick up a girl. And they told me to go to a dancing club, a discotheque, pick up a girl, and take her dancing. And the time you're dancing, whisper hot air in her ears. And she gets hot. hot air. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try to blow her up. <laughs> <laughs> so I meet this girl. She's extremely fat and big girl. I took her to dancing with slow dance. I said, blowing hot air in her air she starts sweating and all of a sudden she whispered in my ear she said what do you use for protection in your country i said a knife or a stick and she walked out of the stage knife or a stick folks <laughs> a <laughs> stick stick on the old stick <laughs> trick <laughs> the, ir- the irony of that is my agent started calling me as soon as jamie told the joke <laughs> smook called as how beautiful his kid time. is Oh, I love this kid. I uh, love his kid. I'm a fan of my kid. So how was your uh, last excursion, man? The last time I called you, you were in Singapore. <clears throat> yes. Can you uh, do everything you want there? Do they, they censor yeah, you? Yeah, no, no, they don't censor you. Oh, because that was the whole spanking thing. Well, no, I mean, caning, right? they have their laws, but, you know, freedom of speech isn't one of them. Oh, really? Especially if you're not from there. They're, very, they're lenient with, like, if you're not from there, they don't expect you to follow. I mean, they expect you to follow their laws, but they don't. They, you know, there's certain limits. They don't get extreme. Like, locals aren't allowed to have gum and chew gum. Really? But if you're a tourist, you can chew gum, but you cannot spit it on the ground. Oh. It's like, all right, we understand you chew gum, but when you're here, spit it into garbage. I've worked with Russell several times, and i got to say, great audiences and the most diverse audiences I've ever seen. I've never performed to a group of Cambodian women before. <laughs> Laotian, Pakistanis. It's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> It's and true. Canadians, huge, huge in the Cambodian market. But uh, how, how do you think it crossed over like that? Are you outside? Who's that? Hello, Eddie. Hey. Eddie. Yeah. I'm inside. Can somebody open the front door or side door? Which door? Yes. Go open. to the back door, Eddie. You know where the back door is at the Laugh Factory? Okay, right, bye. Well, you got to go, Russell. You got another no, no, podcast. No, 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 no. Just uh, no, my assistant he, he, showed up. It's Your assistant. <clears throat> He have his entourage. You don't know him. He have uh, so many people entourage. He have like ten people there come are, in front of him, ten people behind him, ten ten people come in front of their security, and are, ten girls they come behind him. They're his friends. I never see anybody as good to people as him in the position he's in. That's I, true. I don't want to get sappy and say more than you. I don't mind. But the, nah, but it, it really is nice the way you look after comedians besides your friends and family. He always tries to get guys, help, you know, jobs, work with him or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Donald. No, that's oh, that, that's absolutely true. The time I opened Chicago, he was the first person he came. He said, Jamie, I'll go up there to open. I, I can't thank you enough. It was so sweet of you. It was so nice of you. It he, was just. He's the first one that brought a posse with him. <laughs> to a podcast. What are you, Eddie it's, Murphy? It's my, it's my pod posse. <laughs> Look at them. Jesus. They're Look at how many are there. Look one, not, two, three, three, four, Two Mexicans, five, six, three blacks, and a six. Greek. Oh my God! You Don't make any s- quick moves to, towards him. These guys will. Kill I'm you. not. I'm not. I'm sitting here. I'm scared. I'm not saying nothing. Now, who's the <laughs> toughest one over there? Um, Eddie. He just went to the bathroom. But ask him to kick somebody. He can't kick anybody over. That's the problem with him. But why is that? He tried to kick Eddie, and he didn't even move Eddie. Look at Eddie right there with the. Eddie. Mm-hmm. Good. How you doing, man? There's Eddie. Dylan Garcia. You know Dylan Garcia, Jamie? I don't know why he's yeah he's tucking in his like that's gonna make him look thinner. Um, <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the night that he uh, when he's calling this girl a whore next door at the, at the deli? Who Jamie? Yeah. Yes. I tell you that right. And her boyfriend wanted to kill him or something. Oh. And then you know what he oh. said to me? Her boyfriend was an open micer. Oh. And he goes, uh, maybe I give him spot, huh, buddy? <laughs> like that was his way. Instead of apologizing <laughs> to him, he's gonna give him a three-minute open mic spot. We were just 
Were you drunk at the time? No, me and Don, we were having a glass of wine together. And Tosh he, was there. He the was afraid was, that uh, yeah. somebody's going to recognize him and he gets involved in this stupid scandal. Yep, but we were having a glass of wine and Dom had a glass of wine. And we, this girl, she came in. Mm -hmm. You would have think the same way. Dom, honest to God. Even if I you, thought the chick was a whore. No, you don't no. say My that. My immediate reaction would no, be, no, but how the, can I get with her? Right. <laughs> Not, no, but, can I ask you, are you a whore? I don't mean to be rude. No, I didn't say. I don't say mean for, to be rude. Dom, I did not say she was a whore. Yes, she did. I just said, look at her. Doesn't she look like one? Oh, you, said you it see loud? the difference? You yeah, see the I was difference a little between, bit drunk. You see the incredible difference between saying somebody is a whore and t saying they look like a whore. <coughs> like, you look like a whore, but you could be something else. <laughs> you might be just a slut. <laughs> I, you I, might I, just I, give it away for free. For free, for nothing. You it would, just, a whore lie. charges. <laughs> no, but you know, the girl, she had a skirt to here. You could <coughs> see everything. She had her breasts showing everywhere. Why are you mad at that? I wasn't mad at it. I just said it loud. <laughs> well, you're I actually, just said it loud. Well, why are you acting towards him with an attitude? <laughs> Guys, nice. My to tits are put away. I'm sorry. My vagina's I tucked in. I, I didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you guys getting on my team up on me? What did I do now? Learn the language, please. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I didn't really, honest to God, it was nothing. Are you still managing him? Yeah. And what's his name? <laughs> Say my name. Say my name. Go ahead. Dom. What? What's the last name? Herrera. Wow. That's the best he ever said it. That's, congratulations, Jamie. You did Thank great you, on Mama. that. Thank you. I'm so used to calling you, I'm so used to calling you calling him Don Herrero. Don Herrero, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Don Herrero's coming in. He's going to do I spot. never called him Don. Why are you making me, me, I'm like, <laughs> I think client. he was there when you said it. Why, why do you have to, to, to he, he's mad at me already. You make him more mad at well, me. Why are you mad at him? I don't know. He just pisses me off. <laughs> what, are, you, are you playing Atlantic City at all? Borgata? I don't know where you play. I don't know. Um, no, I'm doing. Uh, Going to do that next year. Okay. He's like, doing I'm, Vegas. I'm, He's at, a... I'm at the Trap uh, June 30th. 2,000 seats. It's, I need your help. Can you come and help me with it? I could if you need. <laughs> I am off tour then. <clears throat> do you guys want to go see Dom at the Trap in Atlantic City? Come on, do me a favor, boys. He's, they may yeah. not look like it, but they are fans of yours. I know these guys. We, we were in, um, when we did the TV show, right? Montreal? Montreal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good oh, guys. Yeah, you met Fur and Johnny. Yeah. Got good friends, man. You're lucky. I don't like them. Yeah. You don't like them? Douchecocks. <laughs> Douchecocks? <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. I don't know. I don't Lampine even know if that's a vulgar word. Lampanelli called me that once. <laughs> Who did? Lampanelli. Lisa she Lampanelli? She was running out of words. <laughs> <laughs> I always think about her with her father. So your daughter's a comedian, yeah. Oh, what does she do? Uh, oh, really? She's the one. You know, <laughs> Big black cocks, huh? That's my girl. Oh, that's my girl. That's my baby. <laughs> she ended up marrying an Italian guy. Yeah, Jimmy. You know him? Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, he's, he's taking a lot, huh? Imagine that being your wife on stage. <laughs> Holy shit. She's a big softy. Oh, I like Lisa. Yeah, she's a big softy off stage. I saw her on the the apparentess, whatever the show it is, apparentess with the the, the parentess. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> it's the apprentice. Apprentice. Like the apprentice. Other, otherwise known as the parentess. <coughs> <laughs> anyway, she was very very good. She gave money to the other people. She was very very caring. You know who gave her $10,000 for one of her charities? Who? You're looking at him. Right there. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. Mr. Never you Stops are, Giving Back, Jamie. That's, that's very sweet. I mean, he is the only, i got to tell you, he's between all of the comedians that, you know, I <clears throat> first I saw him in New York and that he came in. He always helped me. I never forget that. Let me tell you something. Jamie. And I never forget that you helped me. Now, did he really but, help you? He did well. He gave me spots when he didn't have to. Because he claims, basically, he claims uh, that he, he, basically, he wrote your act. Wait, of course he wrote the act. You can tell by the no. level of material. No. I, I want to know if he's earlier. telling the truth, though. Because he said that he, uh, when, you, when he first saw you in New York, he called people out here in L.A. about you. Yeah, I called UTA. A bunch of people. I did. Yes. Is that true? I, I, yeah. I don't know because I wasn't there for the phone calls, but. 
But I'll take you guys to you and your brother and everybody, UTA people. We took you to lunch in Palms. No, because he he's did, a he pathological did. liar, and I love stop. you. Stop. Stop. You are. You fucking liar. Stop. He lies about stop. shit you don't have to lie. Just stop. to keep, keep you, it you, shape. Can you put Dylan Garcia on a weekend spot? Because the kid's fucking funny, dude. Oh, I'm just excuse telling me. you for he's, your he's own putting sake. The, he's putting the press. I'm telling he's, you for your own that sake. That sounds like an agent, doesn't it? it, it I'm would telling help you. you for your own sake to get on board of that ship before it sails. You want to be... You want to know that you planted a seed in that fucking... Well, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Did you ever... Let me ask you this question. Did you ever bring anybody in here? You said put them on this club. Uh, you always do that for okay. me. Okay. You do. Why do you have to put, start saying... <clears throat> no, but I'm saying, for your, you, I'm saying for your sake on this guy. Yeah, but why... Because you, you have such have a dearth say, of good comedians here in Hollywood. <laughs> we need another comedian. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you for... For joining the troops, we need you. We were looking; we've been looking all over for a comedian. Thank God, we finally found one. That's Thank right. you, Russell. You see what I did? You're I dug man. one out. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. That's that's nice of you. Isn't that cool having a friend that'll do this for you? Because you'll get the spot, and you don't ever have to stand outside and wait in the fucking sun like these poor jadrules. Who stand out Je there, drool. and he doesn't even watch them. He's got that guy. What do you mean I don't watch? I watch them. them for him. Nobody watched them. I watch them at the time I'm in town. All every Tuesday. But they I'll don't know them. whether you're here or not. Who's the guy that you you don't want to fire that just brings them up? You ever see this? On, uh, Harvey Dunn. Harvey Dunn. I don't know Harvey Dunn. Harvey Dunn is a guy. He's about 75, 80 years old. He sits over there and he goes, "Okay, our next comedian." And then he brings up, uh, that was very good. How about a big hand for Rob Lowell, Rob? <laughs> and then he brings up, the, is there a, a Timmy Poser here? Timmy Poser. This is how it's done. <laughs> so you, you, have, you got past all that shit because of him. I did that. Oh, you did it? You did the open mic? You stood in line? Yeah. Well, he deserves a spot then, for fuck's sake. I, I, Kid's 20. I, been in it. How long have you been in it? Uh, four years. Four years, since he was 16. I what know what dude. four years would be if he's 20. <laughs> <laughs> what am I fucking the guy who can't Mama Luke? guy? <laughs> At least his manager can count. <clears throat> right? But he counted. So he can't even drink. <laughs> no, he can't drink. Well, you'll be 21 in June. So wait until June. Was it June 25th? June 20th. That's what I meant. I don't know why I remember fucking details on that little bastard. You're like, where'd you beat him? Uh, he's open for me before pause. <laughs> no, I mean, one thing about Russell, he bring every time he goes on the road, He's always have given break to different different comics, and he's wonderful about we it. We had so much fucking fun yeah. last year in Montreal. We had he we had a show with uh, Jeremy Hotz. Every oh night Jeremy come in, and we weren't allowed to drink, so Russell would get us drinks. And uh, Jeremy would come in. Oh hi, I got I got such an upset stomach. You have any uh, uh, you have any tums? I go no. He goes you got any beer? I go, <laughs> How the fuck you go from tums to beer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, was Russell was the, he was the host of the show and we had uh, Nick, Nick Toon, Toon and uh, Sebastian fun show and Jimmy Carr oh I forgot Jimmy was on yeah he's so dapper he, he makes me uneasy <laughs> you know uh, I, I think I just came <laughs> <laughs> no he's he's one of those uh, special comic that you know a lot of comics they stick with one opener there's he always find the new people he always even last Saturday, brought a guy in. Hey, put him on. Can you put him on? I never said no because I know he's picking up right people. He's the right. one who told Dane Cook about MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he did. True story. You did? No, I did not. No. No. He gave Steve Martin the arrow to put over his head. Is I'm that, telling you what he was old. <laughs> I went to a joke store. I found Steve Martin. I said, sir, can you put this on your head? <laughs> I think you'll fill arenas. And put these glasses with the nose and mustache. They're funny. On your album cover. I know comedy. Here's a balloon hat for your sequel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny about him? I, I was doing this thing for Comedy Central, and he slicked it with me. Who? Steve Martin. He was like real like smug and like one-word answers and shit. I'm thinking. Didn't you know him? No, oh. I mean, I, but the thing about it, he was one of the few guys there I didn't know, and like Kevin Hart. I don't know Kevin Hart. I never met him. My ex-girlfriend, the crazy stripper, remember her? The Montreal chick? No, no, she wasn't a stripper. No, no that was... Anyway, uh, my ex figured because she was French, she might have been. No, the stripper Ooh. from... <laughs> Tell us about the stripper. No, no, she, she was beautiful. I loved the girl, yeah. but... Uh, her daughter called me up for Kevin Hart tickets. I go, yeah, I got to pick the one fucking person in show business I don't know. I know. I could have called for you. No, I, I, got, a, I got his agent's number, but thanks. 
course you know him. He's a good guy. Yeah, well, good. Kevin is a good guy. He's you very taking good. pictures? No. Oh. You son of a bitch. Dylan, spot. you just been moved to the 12 o'clock show. <laughs> he, said, he said don't give him a spot. I, We're no, not I gotta rolling listen over. to him. I got to listen to him. I got to listen to How him. How long are you home for, brother? I'm leaving for Vegas tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You're going to be tomorrow night <clears throat> to the weather corner in our opening. I thought that was Thursday. Thursday but come tomorrow night, please. No, if I'm you, leaving tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? I'm okay. driving up okay. there tomorrow okay. night. Okay. And he's going to be in Caesar's Palace. In a, in on a, Saturday at the Coliseum. On Saturday. The whole oh, Coliseum. Cool. Yeah. Well, that'd be great. Yeah. It's, it's sold what out already. What are you pulling already. in for that? You mind me asking? Like, uh, I think they give me a couple hundred bucks pretty for the weekend. Pu- pretty penny. Couple but they take care. They count me on food. A lot of, uh, and as much free sodas as I like. <laughs> you could. You mean unlimited refills? Unlimited refills. Oh, that's great for a diabetic like you. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I All the aspartame my ass could tame. <laughs> wow, that's that's a tongue twister. All the aspartame my ass could tame. One of the comedian, I gotta tell you that uh, you both gonna enjoy. Both. One of the comedian. Both. One of the comedian. I have a. Uh, his agent, his manager sent me his contract. He's a big comedian. He want to go up there in Chicago to work in Chicago. I said, okay. And he's Get to buy, the point. In buy, Get to the oh, point. Oh, I'm getting to the point. In his buy thing is he want to have a, his dressing room and he want to have two or three girls in his dressing room. Who's I said, this? This is one of the comedians. Who is I said, it? Well, I, uh, I can't mention the do name. We know? Jamie, you, you can name it. Nobody's Wait, do watching. we know him? Yes. yes. Is he white? No. Okay. I think we know where this is going. I don't know. I won't say if he's a Latino. I don't say he's Chinese. Or I don't say if he's... Well, we know he's not Chinese. How do you know? Filipino? Well, he's fucking could be Chinese anybody. comedian. You just said big. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeremy Lin's doing stand-up? <laughs> It was a funniest thing because he want to have two girls or three girls in his dressing What's room. What's he think? This is the Vegas with Bugsy yeah. Siegel? I, what I think is funny about that is in the Chicago club, there is no dressing room. <laughs> there isn't, That's is true. There? No, no, it's not. You don't have a green room. No, no you're playing there next weekend, aren't you? No, I was there last week. Oh. He did. Two he weeks was, ago. I told you about That's, it. That's yeah. right. I, I wasn't yeah. sure if it was coming no, up. No, no. He, he, he was there last week and he did a great job. And all <clears> of the waitress, one of the waitress, you remember that girl that you took later on, first night? Oh, no, I can't say it in front of people. I never took anybody. Uh, anybody, yeah. I'm That's not right. talking about. Okay. Oh, you don't know what Sounds I'm like he kidnapped her. Yeah, but he goes, he tell all of the waitresses, he like to give them baths and bubble baths. And all, one of the waitresses come to me. He said, he really like to make, give me a bath. I said, yeah, he's very clean. Clean. He loves to <laughs> hygiene have, is his thing. He doesn't want anything else except he likes to scrub this. your little taint. His street name is Dom the Soap Irera. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you did the club. That was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You know, is there a marquee up now? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's nice. beautiful. Yeah. 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 I never got that. Yeah. You didn't get the there marquee. Was no, marquee when yeah. I was there. no, we, we got to get you again up there, please. I need help. It was a faceless building at that time. Okay, now we got marquee everything. So whenever, sometime this year or next year, whenever you get a chance. Maybe next. Year. I think Maybe it's so year. funny that, isn't it weird to think that you're the biggest draw of comedians in the world? Isn't that weird? I don't. I don't think about. I know it. you don't. That's what part of it makes you <clears throat> you. I couldn't imagine you thinking about it or saying it. You know, I'm one of the biggest. I'm the biggest draw. I mean, you're not going to say it to your friends. You wouldn't like have any- Saturday night. I had to follow Hots in here, and he was destroying the room. Well, he always does. Yeah, yeah. he always does. But I, and but because I hadn't been on stage in America in about two months, and I'd been on my own tours around the world. Yeah, it's such a different dynamic because you get caught up oh, on sure. your own tour. So, in, uh, you know, you're, you're in your head, you start thinking you're the only comedian in the world because you're the only comedian you see for a few yeah. months. And then you come back and you forgot that there's other guys that are funnier than you, well, that are working harder than you are. It's not necessarily and, funnier. It's just different. And don't forget, <clears throat> you're doing a longer time out there. When you compress a lot of the he, he has the best acts around, and, you know, the group that we have here. You compress that to 20 minutes. It's going to be fucking strong. Yeah. You know? So I was sitting there literally, and I went up to Tony Rock because I think I had just moved him but, but to after me. And I went up to Tony and I said, Tony, sure you don't want to go next, buddy? Sure you don't? <laughs> He's like, no, nope, you're next. And I'm like, ugh. Now, what's my, my question, what's the biggest audience you ever performed for? 100,000, 50,000? No, 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 like 18,000. 18,000? Twice, what? though, two nights in a row. Where was that? Vancouver. Vancouver. 
What about didn't oh, you I do? I played Madison? in that arena with Cher. That's where the, the hockey hockey yeah, team yeah, plays. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you do Madison Square Garden? I did tw two nights in a row. Wow, that's cool. That's a big room, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big yeah. room. It's Madison but Square Garden. But he said eighteen thousand. Is it Madison Square Garden? No, it's twenty. I think it is. Well, I, I did the I did the uh, the theater. Oh, that's about oh, seventy five hundred, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's called the Paramount now, I think. It wasn't when I did it, it was the uh, WAMU. Was oh, they changed it again? <clears throat> yeah, it changed. No, when I did it, it was WAMU. Now it must be something else. Oh. Because I don't think Washington Mutual exists anymore, right? I don't know. But uh, that w that's a great room. That's, yeah. that's more conducive to comedy. <clears throat> that's realistic. Yeah. Uh, in an arena, you know, no matter what, big screens and all, it's hard. Yeah, but when, in the, in the uh, fall, I'm doing uh, the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Oh, that's the new place where the Nets are playing? Yeah. I'm the first comedian in there. How many people they see? How big is that place, Breezy? Thanks. It's got to be more than 16 in Brooklyn. Well, no. It's what about... They can actually I would fit say more. at least a 20,000 seater. If they put you in the round, they can even fit more for a comedy yeah, show. Yeah, I don't like doing it in No, the it's round. terrible. It's, I don't like people behind me. No. It's better to cut off a part and... Yeah. You know, the, the only time I, I used to open for Cher, you know that. Yep. The only time I was ever a little nervous, because my sister made me nervous, because she got nervous, was at Madison Square Garden. It had nothing to do with the size. It had to do with the history of it. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I'll leave Frazier for it here. Sinatra was here. The Beatles were here. The, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Does that ever go through there. your head? When I did the uh, Apollo in Harlem in 2005. Oh, that's <laughs> exactly, yeah. I, I, but I got there so early in the day yeah. that I hung out and kind of absorbed the building. Yeah, yeah. And then I was okay. Uh, yeah, the, the Apollo made me feel the same way. I did that. They used to have evening at the Apollo or something. Yeah, even yeah. And uh, that was that was pretty cool. When you think of all the great groups that sang there, and I, it was funny. Remember when they used to have that show where they would boo? They would boo. Yeah, they the still people? do. Do they, they really? I think isn't Tony Rock hosting yeah, it now? Tony Rock is. Going oh, is to he? Host. Yeah. yeah, Tony Rock's the new host. Yeah, I like gonna, Tony a lot. He's I a love good him. Day. Yeah. yeah. He's going to get. He's fried. a hard worker, and he's yeah, fun. Yeah, he is. I think he should get the, he, his brother should help him. You know, no, I don't think he wants his brother to help no, him, to be honest just, with you. you know, I mean, because you know what? I, as a, I mean, I think what Tony's doing is the right thing, and the way he's going about it is the right thing. I agree. He's totally not piggybacking off his brother. He's I doing know, it but, all himself. But I don't think is is not really hard for his brother to do a movie or something. Give us one the business doesn't work as simple as that. It's different when Russell's the boss and he could say, I want to bring my friend to open for me. But when you're dealing with movies and producers or networks and, and all the executives, you don't just uh, put somebody in something that excuse easily. Me, excuse me. I know Russell, he did get a TV show on NBC. And he asked a couple of your friends to be on the show. And he did that. I know, I know but inside. But it never happened. It, uh, but yeah, but you were a producer, right? Well, I was a creator. So. Okay. Yeah, but but they create. But the, Chris is sometimes is a creative all of the sh the movies, everything. Like the one he didn't wrote about the president. Look, you're not going to get me to say anything bad about Chris, all right? No, I'm not saying anything <laughs> bad about him. I love Chris. I know I'm not saying I'm saying anything bad about him. I love the guy. You know, I'm just saying. I like honestly a, think Tony doesn't want that. <clears throat> I think Tony wants to make it on his own steam. I'm sure his brother would help him out if he asked him to. <clears throat> but I'm sure he also doesn't want to be known as the guy who piggybacked off his brother. And I, 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 I totally respect the way he's going with it. Don't you? I, I think that. I, th I don't I think Tony's not a, like Tony's not that kind of character. Plus he's doing fine. It's not yeah, he's like, not like he's, he's not struggling. He's, he's not freeloading. He's, he's doing his own thing. And, and when he's on stage, nobody's going. He's no Chris. He's no. Yeah. Nobody's comparing him. Yeah, he, completely he gets, uncomparable. I understand, but I am uh, looking at Wayne's brother. Well, the I Wayne's brothers—they used to root against each other. It's probably like a friendly fire, friendly rivalry. That's true. That's yeah, actually but very close to being unfriendly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I work with those guys in Hollywood Shuffle. Do you remember that movie? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you were the, uh, the gay... Um, the gay writer. <laughs> my words. They're tearing the words out of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Sean had... was here on Saturday night. Yeah, Did he, he wasn't here last night, too. No, <clears throat> he didn't go on, but he, he, he wasn't here last night. He went on last night. Sean was in here. And Sean and Marlon, they're going to go work in a... Long Beach for a couple of weekends. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Said, yeah. They're gonna do that. Yeah, they're. But you know, I I saw you, the competition. What you're saying, Damon came in New York. He want to be a partner with me, and he wanted to call uh, Wayne's brother Laugh Factory in in uh, in uh, New York, and then all of the sudden. Hey Dove. What's his name? Hello Dove. 
yes, you did miss it. I'm sorry. We're going to tell you again after you come in. And then what we did, and I got a letter from their attorney, the Wayans brother attorney, do not put Wayne's brother's name on the Laugh Factory because he doesn't have right for it. I got a letter like a from circus attorney. anyway. Yeah. The Wayne's brothers. What Wayne's it? brothers. It's like yeah. Ringling Brothers. It does. Yeah. Well. Never met any Ringlings in your life? I've never met any. Yeah, I grew up with a lot of circus people in my neighborhood. Bearded lady. <laughs> it's really. You used to call her Nona. It's a, <laughs> it's a pathetic circus. <laughs> they even had a bearded man. Oh, ah, oh. <laughs> What's uh, the, they had a stuttering dog. Remember the, remember the Woody <laughs> Allen bit? It would bow wow. <laughs> uh, uh, what was it? Peter Potowski from Ringer. You remember Peter? Yeah, he Peter? was a clown. Yeah, he was a clown. For, <laughs> no, there's no clown? way. You know, it's like being a clown is like if you, uh, when, you when, a, when a comedy club has a ridiculous name and you lose a chick just on a name. Oh, so I heard you're a comedian. Where are you at? Uh, Slappy Bananas. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> and that's the thing about being a clown. I understand you're in show business. What do you do? I don't want to talk about it. You're a clown. <clears throat> Boom. I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. But what's your favorite animal? <laughs> <laughs> I find that in Chicago, if you said you're a clown, they hate you. Well, why do you got to be in Chicago? I think you could no, be anywhere. No, but because Chicago, they have one of the clowns. He killed 21 kids or something. Oh, a murder? In so <laughs> yeah, he was a clown. Did well, you know, you I know? don't think he was the kind of clown we're talking His about. His name was Stabby the Clown. No, no, no. No, this clown was very hey, famous. Hey, Stabby. He was a famous cl clown. He would bring the kids because he was a clown. He'd bring them home, and he killed them. He molested them and killed them. It was a very famous one. It was 20-something kid in Chicago. Yeah, a John, a John Wayne Gacy. Oh, that's what was the name? That was yeah. his name? Did he dress up as a clown? Yeah, yeah. And he had all kinds of pictures, paintings of clowns. He buried the people in his front yard. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one, yeah. Kind of a lazy serial killer. <laughs> buried him in his front yard. Should we yard. drive somewhere? <laughs> nah. Gas is expensive. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for a long drive. <laughs> I, don't mind sh I don't mind digging, but I don't want to dig outside of my yard. <laughs> <laughs> no, John... Lacey, yeah, that was his name. Yeah. Gacy. 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 But if you want to make it Lacey, go right ahead. You change every no, other no, fucking no. word in this language. I'm not saying nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm not saying anything anymore. So Dylan's got a spot? Dylan, so, for... for. Where are you at this weekend? Uh, All right, don't get crazy. Just yeah, take it down and All right, with yeah. the headlining. Yeah. You know, now trying. No, now you it. he's trying to get your spot in here. Now you become a big now, shot. You know what, Jamie? Oh, maybe he maybe he's too big for the club. That's right. That's right. I'm yeah. headlining. Think, what would it take to entice you to come into this club and perform? How can we possibly get you here? How can I feel we, like a car salesman. How can we? What do we got to do to get you to get you into this vehicle tonight? <laughs> <clears throat> Was it uh, Latino night? Okay, but let's get you on like a real night. Yeah. Not a, I was in Russian Peasant Woman Night. I snuck in. No, seriously, because uh, Russell said it. So anytime you want to call Cecily, put it's your time in. Shit. Because No, no, because he said, he always bringing up with, like you bringing people, anytime you bring in person in, I never said no to you. I never said no, no to Russell. You know, it's, it's you hard. Guys, you're part of the family in here, absolutely. If he thinks he's... Talk about a dysfunctional family. Hey, it's like a regular family now. <laughs> With all the problems. Well, Speaking of dysfunctional, our I'll friend Dove Davidoff's here. <laughs> we have uh, we have an interesting story uh, to go. Uh, if you can stick around for a couple minutes, I don't know. If with Dove? Dove? Well, I Dove that guy. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Dove um, has, unlike you or I, has issues with women. No. I mean, I don't know how you do it because you always keep every relationship so fresh, at least, at least for that night. <laughs> <laughs> but Dub, Dub has a tendency to get engaged before he <laughs> I know. actually knows the Are girl's list. Are you still list. engaged? Uh, she moved out. <laughs> Can I say this? Wait, 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 wait. You got to say it the next show because they're gonna. Uh, I know. Keep it going. I know. We're gonna do another show with him. But, but I would say leading up to that show, yeah. Dub, as far as I remember, took the ring off her hand while she was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> El Bambito in the night. <laughs> That's the dove I know and <laughs> That's love. That's the dove. That's our boy. You know, Davidoff is Russian for take your ring off. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, Russell uh, Peters, thank you for coming on. Will sorry you about come, uh, my tardiness. Will you come back and give us another half hour yeah, okay. sometime? No, no I us, might even give you 45 us, the next time. No, give us an hour, please. Yeah, I, well, you know, I meant to, but it was, you know. But I what, know. what could you have been doing that was He's so got to get, important? Oh, you got to bring was, all of the policies with I woke with up it. when you called me. Then by the time I went down, I had coffee and, and my multivitamins. Then my ex-wife came over. That takes a long time. My ex-wife came over to pick up some stuff. How's that going, by the way? Uh, it seems to be going okay. She came over. This to pick week up some is stuff. okay. Yeah, this week. Today, never mind. This week, uh, she came by to pick up some stuff, and that delayed me. Does she want to get back with you? I mean, can, what, can you blame her if she doesn't? You're a hunk. I'm saying you're a hunk. I'm no. not ashamed. I'm not ashamed <laughs> let, to let, say let, you, let, you, let you are. You're a hunk of a man. You're a, you're a catch. <laughs> and it's not about the money. It's about the look, the talent, about the hunkiness, the hunk. The, let me ask brute. you. Can I ask him a question? Yeah. How much? How much you have to pay right now <clears throat> to that woman for not that? Not that care? much. About. Um, not that much. Jamie, he can't answer that legally. Why? Because, because this, this is going to be... I on... know Sean, Sean Payne, $25,000 a month. Oh, Sean no, Payne? I don't have to do that. Who's Sean Payne? Sean, uh, he's ex. Sean Penn? Uh, no, Sean, Sean Wayne. Oh, Sean Wayne. He's yeah, Sean you have Payne. three kids. <laughs> That's what he three said. <coughs> yeah, but he has three kids. Yeah, but you have one kid. I have one kid. You, you must pay at least 10000 No, under. Five. Will you leave More. him alone? More, 75? Probably between 8 and 10. <laughs> 8 and 10. Okay, that's all I want to know. That's eight all I want to know. Don't tell me exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, 8 and 10. That's you paying every month. You got to pay if you're making it or not making it. Now you get 100 bucks for your spot instead of 80. Yeah. All right. You serious? Yeah. Well, it's your kid, though. What are you going to do? Dude? Yeah, but I, oh, how do you have this woman spend $8,000 on this kid? It's all being worked out, but it, it'll work out. No, it, uh, I can't. What? I can't say yet because it's not done. Stop harassing What if, what if my I friend. say this and then they're like, "Oh, really? You got off easy?" And then they're like, "You got to give a hundred grand a month." But now. why can't you? Can I can I suggest some? Why can't you take part of this money, put it in a bank account for your kid college or something? I'm going to do that anyway. Everything you I own is in her. Like. I, I, everything I have, I've given to her. Like in my will, she gets everything. He loves the kid. Where is it your business? It's no, but trouble. his kid, I understand. What about the woman? Woman the tomorrow woman. is going to go, go marry another guy, to, you know, take his money and leave uh, happily. No, that all changes she, once you get remarried. Oh, but then he gets renegotiated. With, what about the, he, if he lives with a girl? Is she from Atlanta? No. Oh, because I'm playing Atlanta in June. <laughs> <laughs> June 15th. <laughs> <laughs> <Just What? wonder. laughs> hey man, thank you. I love you. Thanks, I'll, I'll young you. Dominic. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you off the set. You bet your shiny <laughs> fucking West Philly ass. Or was, South uh, Philly or whatever part South of fucking and West. Philly. Or your Southwestern my, my so Philadelphia big. cheese sandwich ass. <laughs> you, you who have ancestors in Calcutta. You. Typical Catholic from Toronto. <laughs> You know how we are. Yeah, you, we're all the same. You are, boy. <laughs> Talk about a group. Thanks, Russell. Thanks, Dom. Russell Peters. Thanks, Jamie. Love you, man. It's a very nice Thank jacket, actually. Thank you. It's Burberry. What's Burberry? Your jacket. What's Burberry? That's the name brand. Oh. What do you, what do you think it, it is? A fruit? I didn't know. He said Burberry. He said, yeah. How do you fucking run Cranberry. this place? I didn't know what it is. What the heck is how Burberry? Is, how did you it's become like the a boss blueberry. of people? I don't know what it is. You bought the damn jacket? I don't know. <laughs> I just buy a jacket. They don't say it's blueberry or Burberry. Or <laughs> I don't know what it is. When they're charging you $800 for a jacket, you don't go, what the fuck brand is this it's, for $800? It's not a festival. He doesn't, it pay, a, he doesn't pay retail? No, I get it wholesale. Okay, well. <laughs> wholesale, this has cost me about, honest to God, about. Hundred and twenty dollars. No way. About yeah. hundred and twenty. Yeah. Could be hundred and twenty-one. What year though? Huh? In what year? No, it was in the uh, what they call it, uh, Bonnie's <laughs> a whole bon, Bonnie's uh, Bonnie's. Uh, oh, Barney's Co-op. Uh, no, Bonnie's sale. You they don't have a sale. You Barney's shouldn't let people see you at a sale. These Why? guys stand in line for you to watch them, and you're standing in line for a sale. To well, get, he wants get, them to know he stands in lines, too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm a human he, walk, he can walk past and go, I know your pain about standing in line. I just got out of Barney's. They had a sale, and I bought a no, blueberry no, they coat. Do it, they, they do it in an airport. <laughs> they do it in a wing of airport. They bring everything they have. They sell them. Where is this airport? In, in now they are in the, this year. I'm gonna let you know. It's gonna be in a, a convention center. You so no more in, airports. 
No, no, they moved it from Santa Monica now. It's in Convention Center. Okay, when is it? Uh, I think around end of July. Yeah. I would like to go to this. Okay, a great way together. to end the show. I'd like to go get all the berries I could in jackets. We were hoping to end the show on a sales pitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> for, <laughs> for blueberries. <laughs> excuse me. For blueberries. <laughs> excuse me. I think they know blueberry. It's or Burberry. Burberry. What it not is. Not Billberry. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not no, a no. comics jacket. <laughs> Is the comic jacket? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Good night. Oh, wait a minute. I want to know about my jacket. <laughs> it's Burberry. Burberry. It's a British brand. Oh, it's a British brand. Yeah, it's very expensive. Is it? Yes. Thank you for telling me. Maybe I It even says that. right on it, Burberry. Where? Right there, where it says Burberry. <laughs> if she had only been